Hey everyone, Ida from PGP here, and welcome back for Ravelry's Thursday. So, recently we've gone very vintage, so let's come back to a bit more of the present for this week with the rivalry between Jensen Button and Rubens Barrichello at Braun GP in 2009 when they were teammates for the one year Braun existed. So for those of you who don't know, Braun um, is basically, or was, um, the predecessor to Mercedes um, be, and was created because Ross Braun thought he had, or they had a competitive car um, and therefore bought the team for $1 with Button and Barrichello being his drivers. So, what happened? Um, they, Braun, had a very competitive car called Braun BGP001 to the point where Button got his first and only world title with Braun that year. But before, now that I told you the end of the story, let's start at the beginning. So, both Button and Barrichello battled fiercely on track throughout the season, competing for race wins and the driver's championship, honestly. And while Button ended up coming out ahead and also throughout the season won six times compared to Barrichello's two races um, and coming in second in the driver's standings, um, honestly, it was just a joy to watch. Granted, I didn't... I didn't watch it live, but go watching those old races on F1 TV is really a joy to watch. And an example of their fierce rivalry that was happening that year would be at the Turkish GP, where they engaged in an intense wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle for the lead. Um, throughout the race. And honestly, despite their professional relationship, like they always tried to put up a good front and play the team player card and everything, um, you could still see those tensions occasionally surface, especially, for example, at the Jerkish GP where um, strategic team decisions were made that would favor one driver over the other. Honestly, oftentimes a button at this point. And that's what made their rivalry so great. Like, there was always, like, it was media perfect. Like, they were media perfect, dare I say. But at the same time, you could see those tiny cracks happening that made them human at the same time. And to me, that those types of rivalries where you have that competing um, thing of we need to be perfect for the media, but there's still simmering tension that just creates the most lore and everything and to me, those rivalries and stories are the best ones because there's so much room for interpretation and there's so much ability to like find these tiny details and everything. So that's why I wanted to highlight that rivalry this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.